All right, here we are doing another wrist lock escape. This time he's got me in a choke again, and I want to get his attention. Remember, I always want to get his attention, but it don't, I'm not showing it here as much. But I've got his attention first because I want to do what's, what's the first thing you do when someone starts choking you? Tighten your neck, tighten your neck, tighten your neck. Those are the first three things to do. Tighten your neck, tighten your neck, tighten your neck. Then the second thing is get his attention. Punch him in the eyes, punch him in the throat, kick him in the groin, slap him in the face. Get his attention off of the choking and loosen him up just a little bit. So I've tightened my neck. I got his attention. Now I'm reaching up. Now I'm reaching up over my head and I'm grabbing a finger. I'm reaching up and I'm grabbing a finger. Now this is going to become a wrist lock, but it's starting out as a vicious finger lock and it hurts. You're going to take that finger and you're going to do more than just bend it backwards. You're going to bend it over and you're going to twist it in. When I bend the finger over and I twist it in, have you ever taken the leg and torn it off a turkey or off a piece of chicken? You have to bend it. If you just bend it, nothing happens. If you want to tear it off, you bend it and you start twisting it. When you twist that turkey leg, it'll start breaking and it'll come loose of the, the thigh and you can rip it right off the turkey. I can do the same thing with your finger, folks. I'm bending it. Now I start twisting it. Now I want to make sure he gets to pay attention here because I'm doing a finger lock, finger wrist lock. And I'm going to smash my elbow right into his face just to make sure he's got the idea that I didn't enjoy being choked. I've used this in the street a lot. I used to teach school and I got attacked by a student one time just started choking my ass. I broke his finger for him. I mean I snapped his finger right off. Now, I didn't smash him in the face. But I broke his finger because I could prove, listen, he was choking me. That's how I broke his finger. He was choking me. And you know what? He never choked anybody else.